सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल एंड यू आर लिसनिंग टू कोमल टाया सो आई होप गाइज यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल फाइन सो इन द लास्ट वीडियोज वी टॉक अबाउट द बेसिक थेरी ऑफ टनलिंग एंड एवरी थिंग अबाउट दैट आई होप दैट इज क्लियर टू यू एंड देन वी मूव टू द क्वेश्चन वी डिस्कस टू क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन टनलिंग क्लियर सो इन दिस वीडियो ऑल्सो दिस इज द लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ टनलिंग एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन ओनली क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन टनलिंग ओनली वन क्वेश्चन विल डिस्कस क्लियर सो आफ्टर दैट आई थिंक यू कैन डू यू कैन attempt any question of tunneling the questions are very easy usually from tunneling clear so uh, without delaying i think we should start our today's video clear guys so the first qu the question is this one the 15th question it is and it came in iit jam physics exam guys so guys any you should not leave any question you should not see that okay i am from chemistry why would i solve question of physics If the topic is same, you should attempt the question because question can come like only the authorities are same. The organizing authorities are same only. Fine. So they can they usually happens that the physics question come usually in this exam, the CSR chemistry exam. So I'll be showing the examples also the in perturbation theory especially. They give the ditto examples from the CSR physics exam into your exam. That happens. Fine. So it's better to solve the question from physics also where you have mutual uh, topics. Fine. So let's see this question. This is from Tunning only. So according to it, a free particle of energy E collides with a one-dimensional square potential barrier of height V and width W. Okay, a free particle is there. So okay, a free particle is there, and it is hitting fine of energy E. It collides with one D square potential barrier of height V. Okay, it is height V. Okay, height is also given, and width is also given. So guys, it is of finite width. It is of finite width. Clear. So the question is for finite width. So that means that tunneling will happen here. Clear. So it is asked that which of following statement is correct. is or are correct fine so let's see how many statements are correct for you can see that nowadays examiner is giving such statement type of question so statement type of question becomes very important so he can play like this like the way the iit jam examiner played fine so let's see what will happen so according to it for e greater than v for e greater than v fine so the transmission coefficient for the particle across the barrier will always be unity No, guys, we don't do that. The transmission coefficient we never study for this one. Remember, for finite width, we always study for this one e less than v. We always study for e less than v. Fine. So how can it be unity? Suppose it was of infinite width question. It was of infinite width. Remember, I told you two things of infinite width and the finite width. Then I told you if energy is greater than v, then also the tunneling and this transmission uh, coefficient and you know the reflectance that the values are different. Clear. So in this case, the no question arises of this. That in no case it can be unity. Fine. So in e less than v, we only talk about transmission that is e raised to power minus two something like that. Clear the fo basic formula. So that means this statement is false. Fine. That means this statement is false. So let's see in another one what is asked that for e less than v because transmission coefficient tunneling never happens, guys. In the first question, tunneling never happens in this e greater than v. Fine. It never happens in e greater than v. Clear. For e less than v, now it has given that for e less than v, the transmission coefficient changes more rapidly. So now see, guys. Now see. So I think I should write down a uh, basic formula over here, so things get more clear to you. Clear. So let's see what will happen according to this statement. So just read this statement out very, very uh, this carefully. So according to it, uh, in finite width is there. Fine. Finite width question it is there. And tunneling formula is this. T is equal to e raised to power minus two root two m v minus e. Clear v minus e and it is into l by h cut. Clear. So it is given for e less than v. Okay, e less than v always tunneling happens. You know that. Clear. The transmission coefficient, coefficient, this coefficient changes more rapidly. Means more fastly with w. W means width. It is already given. Width means l. So it is given that transmission changes. So it is not given, guys, whether it is increase or decrease. changes means either it can increase or decrease clear so it changes more rapidly with w than with v so it is saying that transmission probability changes more rapidly with l 
then we so can you please tell me just pause the video and think about it what is your answer clear so what will happen now what is saying that it changes rapidly with l obviously that statement is true only first statement was false the second statement is true so i'll be telling you how that statement is true suppose guys if you have this one suppose if you have this one if you have 16 here suppose if you have l 16 fine so obviously transmission probability will change basically 16 if you write root 16 suppose if if you have v is equal to 16 and l is equal to 16 once clear so it will change more rapidly with v l i'm so sorry it will change more rapidly with l because it is without under root it is without under root because if you write t is equal to something like that e raised to power minus into l is there so if i write 16 so it will be multiplied with 16 but in another case if i take v 16 suppose if i take 2 into something so it would be 16 suppose 16 root 16 is coming suppose if i take 16 into something like that so root 16 would be root 16 would be uh, this one e raised to power minus 2 into 4 so can you see which number is bigger 4 or 16 Obviously, because after taking under root, our number becomes smaller. After taking under root, our number becomes smaller. You can see, you can see after becoming. So, 9 is larger or 3 is larger? Obviously, 9 is larger. So, if it is coming without under root, so that means transmission probability will change more rapidly without, uh, without under root thing. Then with under root thing, so that means this, uh, this statement is true only. So I hope that is clear to you guys. I hope that is clear. So let's see another one. Suppose now it is given that for E greater than V. Suppose if E less than V. So according to it for E less than V. If V is doubled. If now V is doubled guys. Now it is saying that if V is doubled. The transmission coefficient will also be doubled. Will it happen guys that if I double this one transmission probability e raised to power minus 2 into 2 into suppose if i just doubled it up if i doubled it up doubled it up what will happen the transmission coefficient will be doubled or not so let's see let's take it like this let's take it like this suppose a nothing is there only v is there only v is there so what will happen let's take t2 and 2 t1 so then things will be more clear to you so that means if v is doubled so if you take that means suppose earlier v1 was this v and v2 is now it is doubled clear so this t1 would be e raised to power minus 2 root v just write over here root v clear and in t2 what will happen it will become minus 2 and it is doubled so it has become 2v so now if it is asked whether it will be doubled or not so let's take its ratio this will always happen that it is minus 2 raised to power 2v Suppose you find, even if you are not taking 2, just take this root 2v divided by e raised to power minus root v. So what will happen? It will become e raised to power minus root t 2v and plus root v. Clear? So what will happen? Will it be doubled or not? Will it be doubled or not? Obviously it will not be doubled. You can see that it is something different only. It is minus root 2v now. Fine. And it is plus root v. So it will be somewhere it will be like this minus something different only so this statement is false only clear so it will not be doubled because minus is there minus is there and root is there so how come it can be doubled if you du double it so under root is there it will become root to something like that clear guys i hope that thing is clear to you and another option which is so this statement was false so another statement is sum of the reflection and the transmission coefficient is always one so in the in the very first video i told you that r plus t will always be equal to one so always remember that so this statement is true so you can see that how many statements are correct they are b and d so these statements are correct fine guys so guys, I hope you liked today's lecture and everything is clear to you. So this was very easy only. It was very easy topic. I hope you liked it. And this is the end of this video and end of basically telling. And in the next video, in the next video, we are going to talk about perturbation system. So I want all of you there in that video, you know that how much important that topic is clear. So don't leave that topic. That topic is very much important from examination point of view. So we'll be discussing 
discussing i'll be telling you from the very basics so that just the way i always tell you that just like even if a nursery class nursery class student also get to know that what is perturbation like that fine i always try to teach you like that because you know it happens because like only i think the uh, difference lies between different teachers is that how they teach how they make you understand so my only agenda is always to make you understand like as if you know nothing as if your base is nil clear so i hope you are liking my lectures i hope you are liking my teaching it's tuning well with you so in case you like today's lecture you can hit the thumbs up button and also tell me whether you stay till the end or not clear so i can get to know that how many people are my the religious people clear so i have many in my mind because i know that some people are following me very religiously really religiously okay i think i've been talking uh talking i think i've been talking from one and half hours i always was recorded on one day two to three videos simultaneously so that's why there's sk a skip of tongue and all fine so i hope you like today's lecture right so also you can follow me on other social media platforms clear so that is instagram and that the link will be somewhere here fine and also you can follow me on telegram group there i have made group with name komal tai only so the details will be in description box you can find it there and also guys please give your honest feedback into the comment section clear and if you have any query please feel feel free to use that comment section fine so i'll see all of you in the next one with a new topic that is perturbation system in the next one till then take care bye and keep smiling bye